Okay, so welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to gain full access over the target machine using Beef and MSF console. So let's get started. First, open a terminal and type MSF console and wait for the framework to load. Now, to create the payload, I'm going to use the following command to create a reverse TCP connection. So all you need to do here is change the L host and L port. For L host use your local IP address by typing ifconfig and copy the IP address and paste it here. And for L port type 444. The format file is exe and the output name in my case is updater.exe and press enter to create the payload. The file is saved to the home directory. So you need to copy the file and go to your Windows machine and look for example htdocs folder and paste the file here. This is the location for the infected website. Ok, so now let's go back and set the listener. For that I'm going to type use exploit multi handler and then set payload windows slash metapreter reverse TCP. Now you need to set the L host and L port. So go ahead and type set L host and put your local IP address. For L port put 444 and type exploit and let's switch to beef control panel. As you can see I already have a hooked browser, which is my Windows machine. I'm not going to cover how to hook a browser, because I already did that in my previous video. So click on commands and to send the payload to the victim, I'm going to use fake notification bar. And here put the Windows local IP address where your payload is stored. In my case is 192.168.1.4 slash updater.exe and for the notification I will put please update your browser and click execute. If I switch back to my Windows machine you can see the notification here and if I click install, save and open that file then in my MSF console you can see a session has been opened. At this point I have full control over the Windows machine. For example, I will type net user to list the user accounts or start Firefox and that will start a new Firefox window. You can also shut down the computer by typing shutdown dash s dash t and put the time here. And a pop-up box with the shutdown message has appeared. So that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.